Today I will tell you all about TF2's damage texts and show you how to change the font, the size and the color. To even see damage numbers, you must go to advanced settings and tick the box where it says display damage done as text over your target. I will quickly explain what we are going to do. In the custom folder we will copy some game files and change them so we can use our font that we choose to use. I'll show you how to change size, color and other settings. To change the font and size, we firstly download a program that is utilized by Valve called GCFscape. You can obtain it from the link in the description. Run the exe and check the VPK file extension. That's the only one we need. Now you can open Steam, go to Team Fortress, right click on the game, go to Manage, then Browse Local Files, go to the TF folder and search for a file called tf2 underscore misc underscore dir. Right click the file and open it with the newly installed GCFscape. Once in GCFscape, go to Resource and drag out the file clientskin.res. By dragging it onto the desktop, it will be copied. Go to the UI folder, find and do the same thing with the file called hud-damage-account.res. Make a folder in the same path called custom or open it when you have one. There, make a folder called whatever you want. I called my The Legend Life. In that folder, make one that is called resource In resource, make one that is called UI, drag the client scheme.res file in resource and the hot damage account.res in the UI folder. In your self-named folder, we will make a text file that we will call info to tell the game what UI version we use. We will show file extensions since this file has to be renamed to info.bdf. But open the file first and it's a simple command, just copy it from the link in the description the name in the front of the brackets is irrelevant. Save it and close it. Rename it to info.vdf and click on yes. Now we can make a font folder in resource where our fonts will be stored. You can obtain fonts from the web. For example, from the site fonts.google, but you can also use fonts that are pre-installed on your PC. These are located at your drive where you installed Windows, usually the C drive. Under C slash Windows slash fonts, choose one that fits you and copy it to your font folder. My font is called alger.ttf. This information we will need afterwards. Something that we also need to find out is the actual font name. The font name is not equal to the file name. The font program doesn't let you copy the name. So you will have to remember or write down your font name. Mine is called Algerian, but yours might have spaces or is maybe very long. And yes, even if it's called something like Comic Sans, Serif, Handwrite, Monospace, New, Verdana, Bold, Irregular, Thick, Extra, Chicken, Diff, yes, you will need to copy all of that with the spaces and capital letters. By now, your folder structure should look like this. You have your custom folder with a folder that you named yourself. In there, the info.vdf file and the resource folder. In it, the font folder with the fonts, the UI folder with hot damage account.res, the client scheme.res, and when you will start the game, a sound cache file will appear. Until now, we have only copied the same files from the game to our custom folder, but now we still must override the commands from the text to change the font and size. We will go to the client scheme.res file and open it. Scroll down to the bottom where you can see custom font files. Copy one of the brackets and paste it at the bottom after the last number. Delete everything but font and name. Scroll up to your last bracket and look at this number. You will change your bracket number based on the last one. My one is 7 so I will rewrite mine to 8. Now we can change the font and name to match our font that we copied to the font folder. Give the correct path to our font under resource slash font slash your font dot ttf and paste your full name of the font with capital letters and spaces. Press Ctrl F 
to open the search and find econ fonts. Put the direction to up if you are still at the bottom and find next. Alternatively, go to line number 2879. Copy the bracket econ font small and paste it two times. Because one we will need for the normal damage and one for crits. Make sure not to change or delete anything else. Change the name to your font's name and you can adjust the size by editing the doll value. You can also add a drop shadow. Save and close. Now go to your HUD damage account.res file and change delta item font and delta item font big to the name of your bracket from econ fonts. Delta item font is normal damage and delta item font big are crits. And the positive and negative color should change the color values, but it doesn't work for me. I will show you a better and easier way anyway, so don't panic. Delta lifetime is the time it takes for the damage to disappear in seconds, but you can also set it to a float value. You can now start TF2 and see if it works. You can play with the settings like size and lifetime. Just make sure to type the command HUD reload skin to reload the HUD. When you want to change your font completely, you must close the game though and reopen it afterwards. You can change the color by going to advanced options and scrolling down a bit and change the RGB values. If you don't want the custom font anymore, you can just delete the whole custom folder that we created. I hope you managed to change the font. If you appreciated this video, like and comment if it was helpful and if I should do more tutorials like these. Peace out.